Western Michigan opened a four-game homestand in the NCHC last weekend, hosting Colorado College Friday and Saturday night. Friday night, led by Captain Hugh McGing, the Broncos put 42 shots on Colorado College netminder Matt Vernon and got five goals from five different skaters in a 5-2 victory. Going for the weekend sweep on Saturday, Dawson DiPietro led the way, scored a hat trick, and his line was outstanding as the Broncos rolled to a 6-2 win and a weekend sweep. I'm Robin Hook. Coming up, head coach Andy Murray joins me for all the highlights on Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is presented by Greenleaf Trust. Financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. And by Shupan. They know metal and plastic inside and out, creating a better environment through recycling. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. This new Little Caesars Thin Crust Pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese, I don't believe there is any thin crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars Large Extra Most Bestest Thin Crust Pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just six forty nine. dollars Pizza, pizza. When leading edge medical care is what you need, will you be able to find it? When you find the perfect doctor for you, will you be able to choose her? Can one company give you the expertise, the technology, the choices, the peace of mind that your coverage is gonna work the way you want it? Count on it. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Subaru. We're inside the all-new 7-passenger Ascent from Subaru, which has the same DNA as the entire lineup of Subarus. You get the great fuel economy with the beauty of all-wheel drive to get you through that lake effect snow, the low center of gravity from the Boxer engine, along with the best crash avoidance system on the market today called EyeSight from Subaru. Come on out to Maple Hill Subaru and drive these amazing vehicles. Maple Hill Subaru, for a journey like no other. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. On the right, played by Di Pietro. He'll go back to Joy, who one times it in front, and they score! Ethan Frank on a rebound! 1-0 Western Michigan. Ethan Frank opening the scoring last Friday night at Lawson Ice Arena as the Broncos played host to Colorado College in a weekend series. The Broncos had played Colorado College back in November to open league play and took five out of six points on the road. Looking for more points at home this weekend, Andy, and you got all six. Well, it was great against uh, Colorado College. Obviously, we've had trouble putting the puck in the net, Robin. We haven't been devoid of chances. Uh, we've been getting over 40 shots a game, but it was certainly nice to see some Pucks go in the net, and we're going to need the same this weekend against St. Cloud. Let's go to Lawson Arena and watch some highlights. First, uh, these uh, folks, future Broncos, get a chance to get out there and perform. It looked like a few of our former players, some smaller guys there, but uh, <laughs> great crowd again on the weekend. And obviously, uh, when you're scoring like the way that we scored, it gets the crowd into it very quickly. But uh, we had great energy from the start of the game. I mean, we were heavy on the forecheck and spent a lot of time in their zone, Robin, I think set up the whole weekend, so. First period on Friday night, you put uh, 16 shots on goal. I mean, that, that was the, the, you know certainly something we were looking for, is, is getting off to a great start, getting that first goal, and it makes life easier when you do that. I mean, in the National Hockey League, the team that scores first wins over 80% of their goals. But we were hungry around the net. Uh, we were hounding loose pucks. We were all over it, and you know, creating offensive chances. And, it was great to see. 
That line with Wade Allison and Dawson DiPietro and Austin Ruschoff was good all weekend, and you know they were good on Friday night too. Yeah, I mean, those, those are guys that obviously there's Ethan Frank putting in a power play goal off the great play by uh, uh, Mikey Joyo on the blue line, and Dawson DiPietro got it back to Mikey. But uh, you're, you're right, our black unit with Austin Ruschoff and uh, Dawson DiPietro and Wade was tremendous. Their, their game was at the level that you would expect from that, those types of players. All right, here you come again. Dawson making a move through the legs. He's, he has got some crazy skill now. He does. And, but, you know, the bottom line for us is, is Dawson played a very disciplined, linear game, was going up and down, using his speed and, and getting the puck on the net. And, you know, sometimes uh, guys try to do too much and maybe get a little too cute. But there was nothing cute about our game this weekend. We just played hard and got pucks at the net. Here you are out in front trying to bang one in past Matt Vernon, whose dad Mike played a little hockey at the highest level. Yes, yeah, I, I know Mike quite well and, and coached against him and had a few conversations with him when we were out in Colorado Springs earlier. Another big goal there for us. And again, you know, we were, we were pushing the pace uh, all night on Friday and then it was a great carry over into Saturday's game as well. Great to see Wade Allison score. That was a tremendous shot by Wade. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he's got a shot. And I, I, I said to him before the game, I said, hey, let's put about three over the goalie's shoulder today. And you know, he got that one there and then obviously carried over onto the, into the game on Saturday as well. And big, nice play there. Matthias Samuelson brought the puck up the left wing. And Huey, Mc, Huey McGing had a wide open net. And he just didn't tap that one in. He, he's had a lot of chances lately and hasn't gone in. There was no mistake on that, and he buried it and buried it hard. That was 53 seconds into the second period. Then, then uh, they came back and got two goals from Chris Wilkie. This guy's going to be in the National Hockey League soon. Uh, I mean, you know, he, his dad played in the National Hockey League. His dad coaches in the U.S. Junior League right now. and Got great offensive talent and certainly has that, that uh, prospect of playing the NHL in front of him. But he, twice he got in behind us, and we can't let that happen. But again... Right after the goals, we came back with a lot of authority, put a lot of pucks at their net, and really creating problems for the defense. Nice attempt there, Josh, by Josh Basalt. And, you know, Josh is going to find the range here as well. When he does, that makes us that much more dangerous. Here's the uh, Allison Ruschoff Di Pietro line. They were unbelievable all weekend, Andy. You know, great chemistry in that line, a line that we put together for the Duluth series, and a line that we envisioned being together early in the year, just uh, you know, we had guys out of the lineup and we couldn't get away, we missed a lot of games. But, you know, we had great uh, chemistry in all of our units all weekend and certainly are looking for the same this weekend. All right, and your D played well as always. You held them to 28 shots. You hold a team under 30 shots in this day and age. That's really good. Yeah, we'll, we'll take our defensive performance on Friday night uh, against uh, CC. Uh, the next night we weren't quite as happy. We gave up 41 shots. I saw Drew Warrad. There it was actually a lot of people felt it was a penalty, but it wasn't. He just caught him the wrong way. But Drew's practiced great here this week, and will be in the lineup this weekend. His puck boy uh, well, just winding him up into a frenzy for the third period, and uh, you come out and uh, score two more goals. Well, re really important. Obviously, we were not pleased with the game being 3-2 at that point with the chance advantage that we had over them, but kept working, kept grinding, kept playing down low in the offensive zone. Uh, cut down on our turnovers and you know, we're hounding the puck a lot. So, uh, real good determination by our team. Just see guys drive into the net and uh, trying to get the puck on that because you know, those rebounds create great opportunities. There's a lot in court and all yeah, going. Great, great, great play by Paul Washi getting the puck in the net. Rather than trying to fancy play back in the slide, he threw it in the net. And, you know, there's a lot in going hard in the net off that far post. And we work on that every day in practice. And, you know, I had a number of emails this past Sunday, people, you know, with all the goals and score, people wanted to let me know why don't we play like that all the time. Well, <laughs> as coaches, we'd certainly like them to. And to me, it was the idea that a lot of our players uh, made the decision to be great, and uh, we need them to be great. I thought that was one of Lawton Cordenall's better games in his career. He, you know, he's, you know, to be honest with you, Robin, he's had a great, great season, uh, you know. Uh, the puck started to go in the net for him a bit, but he's, he's showing speed. And here's another goal. You know, Rhett Kingston puts it on net. And we got Cole Gallant going there. He actually didn't deflect it. It went off the defender. But, uh, you know, just that pressure of the net. And Rhett Kingston's had a bit of a ha hot hand. He scored three goals in the last four games for us. So put the puck in the net and good things will happen. And the Broncos get the victory 5-2 to in front of the home crowd at uh, Lawson Ice Arena. Now it sets up an opportunity for a weekend sweep and six.
big points in the standings. We'll look at Saturday night's highlights when we return after this timeout on Bronco Review. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time and their workmanship was outstanding. Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from BlackBerry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford. That's you for your next car. All athletes strive to perform at their peak. And meeting that goal means putting in extra hours on the trail, in the gym, or on the court. It also means refueling after a tough workout. Chocolate milk has carbohydrates and protein to rebuild muscles, plus electrolytes to replenish your body. And with no additives, Chocolate milk is nature sports drink. So after your next training session, reach for the natural choice to help you meet your performance goals. Chocolate milk, the unofficial recovery beverage of athletes everywhere. The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial. Bank here. Grow here. Dear Dr. Johnson, I'm writing this letter to thank you for believing in a shy, quiet high school graduate and showing me the importance of believing in myself. You inspired me to pursue an internship in Seattle, a huge step that I never would have considered when I first arrived. Through countless meetings over four years, my world has grown bigger and ambitions bolder. From teaching kids to changing the face of education. Unforgettable bonds, unbreakable spirit, Western Michigan University. Washi picks it up loose, takes it to the circle, takes a shot, rebound, they score! Black Cardinal, 4-2, Western Michigan. Lawton Courtnall with a big goal on Friday night, as we said earlier in the show. He's uh, having a great senior season for you, Andy. Well, Lawton's got a lot of, a lot of speed, just like his dad, who played over 1,000 games in the National Hockey League. And, you know, when he's skating up and down that wing, and he also has been taking a lot of shots this year, which, you know, you get offensive production when you're shooting the puck. So, key penalty killer, a guy that plays a lot of minutes for us, and good to see him get rewarded with a goal there on Friday night. A lot of times you throw his line out there on the best line uh, of the opposing team because of his great speed and certainly is an outstanding penalty killer too. Here's the little folks uh, getting them warmed up. Well, how, how excited uh, must they be to be able to do this? And actually, uh, Tim Lester's son was one of our young hockey players there on Friday night at the game as well too, so it was exciting to see him out there. Another great uh, turnout by the students, and here you go to work. Broncos uh, able to get on the board first again in this game. That is such a big stat in hockey. The team that scores first normally wins. Yeah, no, no question. And, and we talked about it again. And, and as people know, we've had a number of Friday night wins. And at times, our Saturdays haven't been good enough. And we were you know, one game still below 500 here at Lawson. And that should never happen. And uh, we wanted to go after this one, even up our record at home and look forward from there. One of your freshmen has really contributed. There he goes into the penalty box, Jason Poland, but uh, he's been a valuable addition to you your know, team. You know, a quiet guy just goes about his job. Uh, very, very smart player, plays both ends of the rink, uh, heavy on the puck, can play center, right wing, and you know, with that versatility, I mean, he's setting himself up for a real good career here at Western. Your best players need to lead you, and that's human gang, your captain. Yeah, on the board. I mean, you, for about I would say six, seven games has been the human game that everybody knows here at Western. He hasn't gotten rewarded for his efforts here with goals, but you know, goals back-to-back -back games here Friday night and Saturday night, 
Uh, Hugh's, Hugh's got it going right now, and obviously his leadership by example is exactly what our team needs. That first goal was a shorthanded goal that got you going, and here again, grinding at the net, there's Paul Washi. That's what <laughs> Paul Washi does. <laughs> he drives the other team crazy. He's in there hacking and whacking and, you know, just works so hard in the summer and is having a great season this year. And we're so happy for him. He's just a miserable guy to play against, plays a lot against the other team's top players, one of the top face-off guys. In fact, I didn't check the stats. He, he might be back to number one in the country. And there's Dawson uh, burying the puck there. And, you know, it's been a while since Dawson has scored as well, so uh, he always seems to enjoy putting the puck in the net. Yeah, he would score two more after that. Picked up the hat trick. He teamed with Wade Allison and Austin Ruschoff in this game, and they were just electric. They, they were good. They were all over the puck. And I think what you're seeing here in the goals we scored, Robin, is we've got guys going to the net hard. and you know, That's where the goals are scored from. I mean, most of the goals in hockey are scored about two feet from the net, so if you want to be a goal scorer, you got to get in there. Second period now. The Broncos trying to build on their lead and uh, pick up three more points in the standings and Dawson DiPietro, a little spin around there in front of the net and he let it go in a hurry. You no, know, again, right in the right spot, right in front of the net, no no question he was going to get rid of it real quick and, you know, we're, we're, we're taking advantage of our opportunities. Ethan Frank gets a great chance there going down the wing and yet we're, we're coming up with loose pucks. Another was, chance by Dawson right there. Somehow he got around that guy to put a shot on net, and uh, it was a pretty good scoring chance there, although Vernon made that save. You uh, outshot him again on Saturday, but Brandon Bussey, too, with 39 saves in this game. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, they got more than what they should have, and we, we got the lead, and in the third period, to be quite honest with you, we weren't as solid defensively and didn't manage the puck as well as we should have, and they had some opportunities. Fortunately, we had the lead, and uh, there we got Brett Van Oss, and you know, Brett is a guy that just gives us the best he's got every single day. Uh, basically a 4.0 student, our best conditioned athlete. Nice to see him get rewarded. I mean, I'm looking at this, Robin, and I've already watched the tape a couple of times, but Dawson could have had eight goals in yeah, this game. Yeah, he could have. He sure could have. That was a big goal by Brett Van Oss uh, late in the second period. It makes it a 4-1 to one game. Pretty tough to come back from a three-goal deficit, and here you go, scoring again. Yeah, Wade Allison, I mean, what a, what a great uh, game Wade had. I mean, one goal and three assists, and that's the best hockey game Wade Allison's played for two years since he got injured two years ago. And we have to believe that that's going to be the standard for him the rest of the season. And, you know, when we've got our guys playing to the level that's expected of them, we're a pretty tough team to play against. He took a penalty there late in the second period, gave them the power play early. I was in the dressing room, actually. You are talking to him to not give up that power play goal, but they did score. Yeah, so you know I was telling our players <laughs> the right <laughs> thing in place anybody questions that. Yeah, but the, the key thing is we, we came right back, as you just saw, and, and Dawson and, and Austin Ruschoff made a great play in Wade. And, uh, they scored, and we, we the next shift we went down the ice and got it back. So that was very, very important as well. All right, here you continue to put pucks at uh, Matt Vernon, and uh, your guy had a career night, 39 saves for Brandon Bussey. Yeah, a great for Brandon. To, you know, and Brandon's had some troubles on Saturday nights, as we know, Robin, and uh, didn't play uh, Saturday night in Duluth. And, and uh, you know, Ben Blacker went in, did a great job. We, we had some question marks as to who was going to play this past weekend, but we decided to go with Brandon. He didn't have a lot of work on Friday, so we went with him Saturday. And, he had a lot of work on Saturday, but did a great job. And it's always nice when you're able to play with a lead as a goaltender as well. 6-2, Broncos get the victory and sweep the weekend series. Pick up six points in the standings. More Bronco Review after this timeout. You trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work. But we offer so much more, like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, perfect paint matching. Dunchy Body and Frame also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for the personal service and high-quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame today at 375-2100. Dunchy, part of your community for the last 40 years. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Volkswagen. This is the Volkswagen Tiguan. It comes in both five and seven passenger models, and now it's joined by its big brother, the Atlas, which comes in a seven passenger and eight passenger model, completing the SUV lineup. All Volkswagens are backed by a six year, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. Best in the business. These are German engineered, value priced, with the longest warranty in the industry. Maple Hill Volkswagen, for a journey like no other. Want more? 
more pep for your wallet? Open your eyes to a credit union. At Arbor Financial, we're here to help you get more from your money. Like earning up to 5% APY with a free Arbor Momentum checking account. Now that's more. Find out how much more you can earn by visiting an Arbor Financial branch or go to arborfcu.org. This new Little Caesars thin crust pizza is so loaded with pepperoni and cheese. I don't believe there is any thin crust. Pepperoni, 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 cheese, 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 crust. Found it! There is a crispy crust under all that pepperoni. Get a Little Caesars large extra most bestest thin crust pizza with extra cheese and the most pepperoni, all at the nation's best price of just six forty nine. Pizza, pizza. More devices. More apps. More streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Cam over the line, stick handle through the traffic, over to Wade, hesitates and scores! What a shot by Wade Allison! Oh my goodness! Wade Allison with that big goal on Friday night. He had another goal on Saturday. It's just great to see Wade starting to get uh, his legs underneath him. It's been a long road back from a pretty bad injury. Well, a lot of credit to Wade, uh, Robin. It's, uh, he's been persistent. He stayed with it. Had a decision to make in the fall as to whether he would turn pro with the Flyers or come back. Decided to come back. Got hurt again right once we got into the regular season. And, but, you know, he knew that he needed to have a strong year this year to go into the pro ranks afterwards as a graduating senior. And uh, I, I think now he's found his groove, his, his conditioning is back. And just seeing him skate this weekend and watching him in practice as we get the good fortune to do him, he's going up and down. He's powerful. He's, he's playing like a power forward. He's able to use his legs rather than just try to play the game with his hands. And when he's driving up and down that wing, there aren't many college players that are any better than Wade Allison. He scored a lot of goals in his freshman and sophomore year. His sophomore year, he was the front runner for the Hobie Baker, which is the Heisman of college hockey, and then he got hurt. Yeah, no question. I mean, we, we were also a team, Robin. I uh, remember that Saturday night in St. Cloud. Had we won that game, we were sitting number two in the country. St. Cloud was number one. We'd won Friday, and we, we lost on Saturday. We also lost Wade Allison, and we lost Cole Conrad as well. But, um, you know, it's great to have him back in form. And, and again, it's... it's uh, the level that he needs to play at. He's got to keep driving, taking that puck to the net. Next up, the St. Cloud Huskies will look ahead when we wrap up Bronco Review after this timeout. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation, and guarantee low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. When you need home improvements, you should call BlackBerry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. No matter what pops up during your day, Ascension Borges makes it easy to get the care you need, anytime, from anywhere. Now you can see a doctor online right from home 24 7. Check in online for urgent and ER care or even schedule a visit with a primary care doctor. You'll find it all at getascensionmichigancare.com with locations across West Michigan. At Galesburg Ford we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Western's brown and gold all the way. 
We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford! Not too far for your next car! Want more? More house in less time? Open your eyes to a credit union. At Arbor Financial, we're here to help you get more from your money, like our no money down and no PMI mortgage specials, and a promise to meet your closing date, or we make your first payment. Now that's more house faster. Find out how much you can earn by visiting an Arbor Financial branch or go to arborfcu.org. Now open in Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo Avenue, south of 68th. Samuelson pokes it ahead. Here's a two on all. Samuelson has Yuma King in front of the net. Gets it to him. He shoots and scores. Well, hopefully Hugh McGee can keep up his uh, great play as the Broncos go into another home series against a hot team, St. Cloud. Andy, they're coming off a big weekend over Minnesota Duluth, the defending national champions, back-to-back -back years. Yeah, they, they, they won both games, played extremely well, limited Duluth's offensive opportunities, and played with the speed and tenacity that St. Cloud's known for, noted for the one that create a scenario where they were number one in the country for most of the year until the national tournament last year. But they're going to play hard. They're going to play fast. You cannot turn the puck over in front of them. Got to play in behind them. Got to put some pressure on their defense. And, you know, they've had our number for the last number of years, Rob, and we need a solid effort this weekend. Yeah, they won the regular season last year, and they're right behind the Broncos in the standings. Uh, they had quite a bit of turnover, but still a lot of good players there. And a lot of good players. I mean, they've been such a solid program for years that they lose players but that just means they're bringing in other good players so they're going to be a real good team and are fun to watch and and certainly our players don't want to be watching them we want we want to get after them and have our crowd behind us so it should be fun two games at lawson arena friday and saturday night hope to see you there seven o'clock face off both nights and we'll be back next week with coach murray and recap the highlights from the broncos and st cloud at lawson ice rink coach murray and our staff thanks for watching see you next week I'm um, blocked the